Here is what come to our mind when we think about Dubai. Atlantis Hotel. One of the most luxurious hotels in the world. There's also an ultra-luxury seven stars hotel named Burj Al Arab, which is the only one with seven stars in the world. Ain Dubai is the world's tallest Ferris wheel which measures 250 meters tall. The structure opened in 2021. Dubai is also the only city to have a museum that has a shape of a frame. Everyone knows that Dubai has some of the world's most beautiful and biggest malls. And no need to talk about the beauty of hotels Infinity Pool have in Dubai. If you're lucky to go in one of these pools, you will have an outstanding view of Dubai's palm artificial islands. But Dubai's main force is its futuristic skyscrapers and architecture. Sometime, we watch Dubai closely, we can feel that we are in a science fiction movie like a Star Wars city, but have you wondered if with all global uncertainties and problems, what will happen to Dubai in 50 years or in 2072 respectively? Will Dubai leaders follow their actual plans of evolution or will they follow the ecologist movement that propose economic decline and stagnation to reduce carbon emissions? Well, Dubai Museum of the Future has the answer. Considered by any as the most beautiful building in the world, this museum represents a global platform for imagining new opportunities for the world and factory for future ideas too. Designed and imagined by Mr. Sean Killa, the museum has five sections. The first chapter is named OSS Hope which take on space travel. The second chapter, the Heal Institute let you enjoy the beauty of the Amazon forest. While the third chapter helps you connect with your body and mind. The chapter 4 focus on tech that could change the future. And the fifth is a futuristic play space for kids. Even a robot work there as a guest agent. Yes, please. This building was designed with advanced algorithms and This is a vision of the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Raskid Al Maktoum. The vision named UAE Centennial Plan 2071 is a long-term full vision plan that extends for five decades after 2022. It forms a direct and clear map for the long-term government projects to fortify the country's reputation and soft power. The country has expressed its willingness to diversify its economy for oil and gas. The plan aims to invest in the future generations by giving them the knowledge and required skills to face rapid transformations and to make the country the best in the world by the next centennial in 2071. Here's also why the country will invest a huge portion of its GDP in education, advanced technology, and sciences. By building a lot of attractions and by investing in real estate, the UAE is successfully diversifying its economy, which is in the long-term plan too. Another major objective is also to create an happy and cohesive society by creating a secure, tolerant, cohesive and ethical society that embrace happiness, positive and high quality of life. By achieving these goals, Dubai is easily one of the best place to live in. Contrary of what many mean, the UAE has no plans to reduce its oil production in favor of renewable energy for 2030 according to the climate minister. It's because the government is convinced that there will be huge demand for oil in 2030. Despite the international movement to go to renewable energy. So, you can't expect to see Dubai declining and following the ecologists for the sake of the environment. Unlike many countries in which doomsday scenarios prevail and dominate minds, the United Arab Emirates doesn't take in consideration such an apocalyptic scenario for its future projects and developments. Tell me what do you think about their plan? As a bonus, I present you the opening of the Museum of the Future. Enjoy!
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.